Football Team Fat Fight Show, and I'm here with Dr. Melissa Hirschberg, and we're tackling weight gain in the back, legs, and tummy today, and now we're on to legs. Watch this. The fat has its unique locations to store fat. If you tend to carry your weight below the waist, fat thighs have probably been a real challenge. In women, it is especially difficult due to childbearing genes. Sugar, alcohol, trans fats, and carbohydrates are a few of the culprits that almost guarantee fat thighs. My least favorite body part, I would have to say, are thighs. My legs, my thighs, my legs are gone. They're very large. I don't understand them. They're problem areas. I think they look really big compared to like, the rest of me because they're fat. <laughs> they have to hold up my bum so they're a little big. It's very hard to find pants that fit me. I don't know why they, they're there. Not really a big fan of them, especially in the summer. They're the hardest to hide. I just don't like thighs, and um, I don't know how to get rid of them. <laughs> Another one of our viewers tackled their problem area. Come on up, the lovely Olivia. Come on in. Hi. 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 So you know, Dr. Melissa Hershberg. Okay, let's talk about you know what's the problem here. What do you um, think? My feeling? legs have always been like my problem area. It's yes. always hard for me to find clothing because I'm kind of small on top and bigger on the bottom. Okay. So it's hard for me to get into like sizes and stuff. And okay. it's especially in the summer now, you know, it's a little bit more difficult to hide. Uh huh. I gotcha. Yeah. I gotcha. So why do we store it there? Why, 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 why? Okay, so <laughs> because we're women, and yeah. women are hormonally set up to store fat on the lower body in preparation for childbirth and pregnancy. Mm -hmm. So the hormone estrogen encourages women to store fat uh, on the lower body, subcutaneous fat, meaning it's under the skin in that it's not harmful uh, because it's not around our internal organs. It's more just a reservoir of fuel for when we have to breastfeed or uh, become pregnant. Mm -hmm. The trouble is, because it's under the skin, uh, even though it's not harmful, we don't like the look of it because when it's under the skin, it's visible mm -hmm. and it bulges and it forms what we call cellulite. Right. So essentially, our skin is nice and smooth like this. Mm -hmm. And what cellulite is, is when we gain weight, we don't increase the number of fat cells. Instead, mm -hmm. what happens is the fat cells that we do have um, swell. And now, because they're under the skin, we can see them. So what ends up happening is we get this lumpy, bulgy, bumpy appearance that we don't like. Mm -hmm. Okay? So that yeah. tends to happen, and that's what most women complain about when they're talking about their lower body. Sure. Fat, sure. So that's, is there any way to get rid of that uh, as far as calories or anything? Like, right. Know? So cellulite yeah. uh, is tough. I mean, there's no magic potion or cream we'll or anything like that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, we all try it, and I mean, we'll continue to try it because, yeah. you know, you got to have hope. But... Um, but really what it comes down to is general weight loss and yeah. reducing calories. Uh, so you need to, you know, watch your weight and also intense exercise. So what you want to do is do exercise that incorporates your large muscles of the lower body. Uh, interval training is great. Yes. So things like jogging and interspersing it with sprints. Um, can be really helpful. And also, what you want to do is sort of camouflage, which I'm sure the other experts are going to talk about. Sure. So build yeah. up your upper body mm -hmm. so that you can get that nice hourglass appearance. And building up your upper body uh, will help, you know, also rev metabolism, which right. is going to be really important. Right. Well, let's go talk about working out, okay? Sure. Let's do it. Thanks, Good. Melissa. Come on Thank over, you. Olivia. Let's go talk to Melissa. For this problem area, you're going to give us two good ones right yeah, now. So these are my two uh, go-tos. My first one would be the lunge because it's a very functional exercise that we do because it's almost like you're walking or you're running, mm -hmm. okay? So what she would do is you're going to take two hand weights. Okay, we're going to step over here, and it's a walking lunge. So adding the traveling will also ah, increase okay. the calorie burn and use those muscles better, okay? Yeah. So she's going to take an exaggerated step forward, come down, and come on up. Now she wants to be nice and tall, so she's almost up and down like a jack-in-the-box. Yeah. Yep, and come ac across, yep, and come down, and come on up. So the more you can travel, right. the better. And so what you're doing with these lunges is you're actually working your largest muscles, like Melissa said, mm -hmm. which would be your quads right across in here, 
okay, in the front of your, your thighs, and then you've got your hamstrings over here, and then you've got your glutes as well, mm -hmm. okay? So you're working all three of these biggest muscle groups that we have, and they, they use the most energy, so that's why it's really efficient. It's really efficient. So when that happens and you do this constantly, you know, every day you do these, again, the reps are how many? I would say to start two to three sets. It really depends on what your fitness level is. Right. 12 to 15 days. repetitions. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And that and that after a while you'll 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 get it down really good, yeah. you know? But it's really again, you always talk about form. Form's really important. You don't want to be bending nope. over like that. No, nope. you want to be straight, straight up and down. Yeah. Yes. And it's not the length of the stretch necessarily, nope. is it? No. Tell us a little bit more about that. No. So, for example, because a lot of people can have incorrect form and come yeah. right out like this yeah. and they're leaning forward. Yeah. Well, all you have to do is maybe just do this and you right up and down. So you always yeah. lead with the back leg. So your legs are almost at 90 degrees. Yeah, that's where it works right there. Yeah. So you got that? Yeah. Yes. Got okay. it. Exercise okay. number two. The second exercise is great for, again, your hamstrings mm -hmm. and your glutes. Hold okay. that baby up there. It's called a yeah. deadlift. Yeah. yeah. It's called a deadlift. Yeah. So she's going to stand nice and tall. Keep her chest out, her shoulders down and back. And all she's going to do is hinge at the waist. You're going to let the weights hang freely in front and you're going to lean over. So you want to have your legs about yeah, about hip width apart. Mm -hmm. You're going to lean over until you get a nice stretch right in your hamstrings and your glutes. You want to keep your chest out for me. Yep, there you go. And then mm -hmm. squeeze your glutes and then come on up. Okay, so her abs are tight. She leans over until you get a nice stretch. And then squeeze your glutes and come on up. Remember that bird that your dad brought home from the airport that would go in the water? And it would hinge, and it kept getting away. That's you know, that's good. not as fast pretty as the bird did, but that's how you hinge. Yeah, I remember that's that one. That's, that's the visual on that one. Thanks, Samantha. Come on over here, Olivia. We're back to Hey, Claudia, Olivia. Okay, so now. How to dress the part. She's small at the top. She's just a little wide at the bottom. What are you going to do? Yes. Okay, so Olivia is my real-life dear old friend who has graciously agreed to appear on the show today. So thank you so much. I know how hard this is. But we love it, and we love that you're here. So we got some easy fixes for you that are going to really help all that. I brought in some shapewear, which is always important. Not the most comfortable or the sexiest. But, but it's getting better. <laughs> it is. It's getting, getting better. better, yeah. The first one I have here, this is for Hanes Firm Control Shapewear. This is the I am going to war. I have a cocktail party to go to. I have been going to town on food all week. That's and right. I have three minutes to fit into this dress. And if you don't That's think they are. don't do this on the red carpet, they do. They wear sometimes two of them. Surprise! I'm not kidding you. Yes, they do. <laughs> okay, yeah. so these, these things here are going to do the trick. And right. this is basically a bicycle short style. Mm -hmm. And you have all that coverage all the way down uh, the full length of the, of the thigh. So that's going to really suck you in and make you nice and smooth all the way down. And it goes all the way up below the bust, below, right below the bust line. So it's going to get you, kind of give you that shape all the way up. You're now, nice what if you skirt. have a short dress or short skirt? What all right, so what we're going to do yeah. is, um, first, don't panic. <laughs> and <laughs> don't then we're going to offer for our second option here, okay. okay? So the second option, this is from La Vion Rose. This is like, if you, oh, these are uh, basically a panty style. Mm -hmm. So these are a little bit more breathable and uh, they're going to give you those lines and that nice smooth mm -hmm. smooth kind of look, to, right but it's not going to suck you right in here, the yeah. way we really need to be sucking you right. in. So if you're not that adventurous, this is really going to help too. That's okay? Cool. okay? Let's yeah. talk fashion. Okay. All right. How do so I set the look? First okay. thing I want to do is I want us to embrace the A-line, okay? Yeah. Listen, it's all about, again, if we're thinking about those proportions mm -hmm. that we talked about earlier, the A-line is really going to help with that. Absolutely. Because think about how small your legs are going to look in comparison to that silhouette. Mm -hmm. They're going to look tiny, right? So that's really going to help. We love that. And this is a nice thick fabric, too, so that's going to help disguise all of that as well. The next thing we want to do is look for patterns and prints that do all the work for you. We love that. It's lazy dressing, and I love it. Mm -hmm. Okay? So I opted for this graphic print here that has the vertical lines going down at the bottom, so that's going to create the illusion of up and down like we like and we're also gonna we and um, that's where she can use it so that's yeah. gonna draw the line yeah. uh the eye up and down this is where tummy people can't wear that no i'm a tummy person yes this is coming up next so okay. this is a cool look yeah, yeah. and then yeah. we have the stripes going horizontally up top where she could afford that volume so again we're creating right. that proportion we're adding that volume up top yeah. throw on a topper which is a cute little jean vest here that's gonna add that volume as well okay. Some, some heels. Shoes, some heels. Olivia's going to look amazing. Are we still friends? Yeah, you're yes. still friends. Yes. Yes. Okay. Still friends. Still friends. Still friends. <laughs> wait, just wait a minute. Wait until after the show, at the end of the show. No, we're going to see the reveal at the end of the show. We have to take a break. Olivia's going to go change into these clothes. Go take them. Claudia, give them to us. And we'll be back right after this. We're going to tackle the Tommy coming up now.